Uh, thank you very much for, for, for Professor Christian Rezanitz for your kind invitation to SOAS. And also about 10 years ago when, when the cup was shown in Japan, I was asked to contribute to essays on the pamphlet of this movie but I got a very small amount of money for, the, for, for that. But uh, today, probably, I got this good luck from Kenji Rinpoche Foundation. So it, it is uh, some karmic connection with uh, him, I think. So uh, this time, I selected the, the title of Genesis and Development of Two World Mandala. From my experience, the in university lecture, number of slides is 30 to 36 is maximum. If we have show you know, too many slides, it is not good for common audience. If we, if we show Conf uh, academic conference, you know, all people know about the topic of lecture so that we can show the 50 or 60 slides. But in the university lex lecture, 30 or 36 slides is at maximum. So I strictly selected 36 <laughs> slides for this lecture. In 806, Kukai, the founder of Japanese Shingon sect, after he finishing his study under the Chinese master Huiku, brought back the Ryokai Mandala, or the two world mandalas, to Japan. Thenceforth, the Ryokai Mandala have been looked upon as the basis of the iconography of esoteric Buddhism in Japan. And they have exerted considerable influence not only on art, but also on Japanese thought and culture. The two world mandalas consist of the Taizokai mandala, or the Garba mandala, described in the Dainichikyo, or the Vairochan Abhisambodhi Sutra, and the Kongokai mandala, described in the Kongo Chokyo, or the Sarva Tathagata Tattvasangraha. These two mandalas evolved separately in India and entered China by different routes. But in China, they subsequently came to be regarded as forming a pair. So Vajradat Cycle was discovered by Nanga Rujuna and transmitted to Nanga Bodhi. And Nanga Bodhi's disciple Vajra Bodhi visited China and transmitted Vajradat Cycle for the first time. And Vajra Bodhi's disciple, Amonga Vajra, revisited India and collected many scriptures belonging to Vajradat cycle and translated it into Chinese. So Amonga Vajra was counted one of the four great translators of Chinese Buddhism. And, and Vairochana Abhisambodhi and Garba cycle was introduced by Shubhakara Shinha. Uh, he is born of Orisan royal family and uh, visited China and translated Vairochana Abhisambodhi Sutra into Chinese and that, uh, with assistance of Yixin, uh, Chinese uh, master Yixin. Uh, these two people jointly translated Vairochana Abhisambodhi Sutra into Chinese. But very unfortunately, Yixin passed away before his Shubharaka Shinha death, you know. So the Shibaraka Shinha's Vairocha and Abhisambodhi Sutra tradition was, you know, uh, transmitted to Huiko through Xuanchao, other master. And Huiko jointed these two uh, tradition into one tradition and transmitted it to Kukai. But very unfortunately, in China, there are several 
depression of Buddhism by Chinese emperor. So uh, Chinese esoteric Buddhism disappeared. And only Japan had the tradition of esoteric Buddhism. Uh, nowadays, you know, quite many uh, Chinese priests dispatched <laughs> students to Japan and brought back uh, Chinese esoteric Buddhist, Buddhism. And now, uh, in Xi'an and other places, they constructed uh, a Chinese esoteric Buddhist monastery. And the, the tradition of esoteric Buddhism was survived in China, but uh, this one is reintroduced from China after Meiji Revolution. Uh, this is the Genzu Mandala. The Genzu Mandala is a version of the Galba Mandala brought back to Japan by Kukai that is widely used today in Japan. It consists of approximately 414 deities systematically arranged in 12 sectors called Chudai Hachioin or Central Eight Petal Lotus. Henchin or Omniscience Sector, Jimyoin or Vidyadara Sector, Rengebuin or Lotus Sector, Kongoshuin or Vajra Sector, Shakain or Shakemuni Sector, Kokuzoin or Akasha Galba Sector, Monjuin or Manjushuri Sector, Sosituzin or Susiti Kara Sector, Jizoin or Kusiti Galba Sector, Jogai Shoin or Sarva Nibarana Vishkanbin Sector, and Gekon Obuin or outer Vajra sector. So Garba Mandala totally consists of 12 sectors. Compared with the approximately 120 deities mentioned in the Vairochana Abhisambodhi Sutra, this represents a more than threefold increase in the number of deities. The Tibetan Garba Mandala, on the other hand, consists of around 120 deities. It follows the Indian original more closely than the Sino-Japanese Genz Mandala. In the Tibetan Garba Mandala, problems present in the original Indian version, such as vertical and horizontal asymmetry in the arrangement of the deities have been left unsolved, unresolved. For example, Jogai Sho sector, Jogai Sho in consists of nine deities. But this Jizo in Kshiti Garba sector consists of only six deities. So the, this Sarva Nivarana Vishkambin sector and Kshiti Garba sector becomes asymmetry. And in Akasha Garba sector also, you know, Akasha Garba's attendant is only five. So two attendants in left and three attendants in right. And there are several di uh, differences of opinion about the arrangement of attendant bodhisattvas, but uh, uh, they cannot solve asymmetry of mandala. In order to reconstruct the Garba Mandala originating in India, it is absolutely essential to examine examples from Tibet that preserve its primitive form. So all chart and diagrams are included in my newly published book. So please, and I presented one copy to uh, Professor Ruzanit. So please refer to it afterward. A Buddha statue from Ahichatra, uh, second century AD, has Padmapani and Vajrapani on both sides as attendants. There exists argument whether Padmapani in this triad can be identified with Avalokiteshvara or not. So Avalokiteshvara is uh, a sp special 
ティーティーインマハイアナブディズム。So if we recognize this person as a Balokiteshvara, so Mahayana Buddhism had already existed in India. So the, this, there is a,、uh, some、uh, argument.、Uh, and to second century AD is very <laughs> problematic. Mahayana Buddhism had already existed in, the,、uh, in India, but it is、uh, not so strong. So the identification is this、uh, person is problematic. But, However, many examples of the、uh, triad consisting of the Buddha, Avalokiteshvara, or Padmapani, and Vajrapani were produced in later India. <coughs> so, in this、uh, triad, Vajrapani is right hand attendant. Right hand attendant is、uh, facing the left attendant. But uh, uh, in, in the custom of Buddhist iconography, right hand attendant means Buddha's right hand attendant. So, facing left attendant. And Padmapani is a left hand attendant.、Uh, but in later example, quite many triads h a d Padmapani as right hand attendant and Vajrapani as left hand attendant. In Chapel 3 of Nasik Cave 23, there is enshrined a seated Buddha with the Dharma Chakra Mudra in the center of the front wall, with Avalokiteshvara and Vajrapani flanking the main deity. In this example, this、uh, right hand attendant holds lotus stem in le- with left hand, and there is、uh, images of Amitabha Buddha. So, this、uh, Bodhisattva is clearly identified with a b a r o k i t e s h u v a r a no problem. Moreover, it is worth noting that a b a r o k i t e s h u v a r a and Vajrapani are arranged in the center of the two side walls. And on both sides of the main deity, eight small attendants are arranged in four registers. So, lower registers collapse, collapse but、uh, originally, eight attendants flanked Avalokiteshvara and Vajrapani. At this stage, it is difficult to identify the names of each of the small attendants. Nevertheless, it is natural to suppose that they have been collectively arranged here. The attendant of the Lotus family centered on Avalokiteshvara. And those of the Vajra family centered on Vajra Pan. So, the, in triad, Padma Pani and Vajra Pani is Franklin, Franklin, main deity. But after that, Padma Pani and Vajra Pani themselves had their own attendant. And this、uh, group will develop into. Padma family, Lotus family of Avalokiteshvara, and Vajra family of Vajrapani in later time. And chapel number four at Ratnagiri, Orissa, faces east, whereas the main deity, Vairochana Avisambodhi, in Sambhogakaya form, is enshrined in the front of the chapel.、Uh, this is the、uh, Vairochana Avisambodhi image. Discovered at Ratnagiri, Orissa. And the Indian scholar identified this、uh, image as Manjushuri, but the、uh, Japanese uh, scholars uh, identified it to Vairochana Abhisambodhi, the main deity of Karva Mandala.、Uh, why this one was identified to the Vairochana Abhisambodhi in Japan? Is the reason is. <laughs> Uh, explained in my book. It is flanked by a seated image of Avalokiteshvara and Vajrapani. Avalokiteshvara has a lotus stem.、Uh, lotus stem is a, 
uh, currently missing, but uh, Lotus stem is his left hand and makes the gesture making it bloom with his right hand. This iconography is explained in the Pragya Paramita Naya Sutra and also coincide with the main deity of Rengebu in Lotus family in the Garba Mandala. This is uh, Avalokiteshvara in Garba Mandala in Japanese. So the iconography completely coincides. Uh, Vajrapani, also in a poor state of preservation, holds a Vajra in his right hand and a Vajra topped bell in his left hand with his left elbow squared. This one. These features are not those of Vajrapani in the Garba Mandala, but those of Vajra Sattva in the Vajra Dhatu Mandala. So this is Japanese version of Vajra Sattva. Thus, the, uh, the arrangement of the images in chapel number four at Ratnagiri has been drawn from the principal deities in the first square of the Garba Mandala. In Garba Mandala, the main deity is uh, Vairochana Abhisambodhi, and Avalokiteshvara is here and Vajrapani is here. In Japanese uh, version, Vairochana Avisambodhi is here, and Avalokiteshvara is here, and Vajrapani is here. So this uh, triad coincides with the first square of Garba Mandala. These images, like others of Vairochana Abhisambodhi from Ratnagiri, are stylistically thought to have been produced during the 8th to 9th centuries. So from uh, Ratnagiri, there are at present three images are identified, but uh, stylistically they are produced during eighth to ninth centuries. Therefore, they would postdate the emergence of the Garba Mandala. So Garba Mandala appeared in India probably in seventh century, so postdate. However, their arrangement corresponds to the basic structure of the Garba Mandala. We can surmise that such combination of deities developed into the Garba Mandala. So extant example is later appearance of Garba Mandala, but this combination existed in India, and probably earlier example existed in India, and such triad may influence the basic structure of Garba Mandala, I think. Uh, there is a mandala of the laws of three families, uh, Riksum Gompo, in Tibetan Buddhism. This mandala is centered on Manjushri here, flanked by Avalokiteshvara and Vajrapani, on the right and left. This mandala is based on the Gukhya Tantra, one of Ali esoteric Buddhist scriptures. So title of Guhya Tantra suggests this one is late Tantric Buddhism, but this one is early Buddhist scripture. Uh, probably came into existence in sixth century. Therefore, the idea that Manjushri, Avalokiteshvara, and Vajrapani were the lord of the three families is brought to have originated in India. Nowadays, uh, Tibetans are very fond of this combination, Riksum Gompo. So we frequently hit upon this combination in Tibet. 
And if we ask Tibetan priest, uh, what is the meaning of this uh, Lord of Three Families? Uh, quite many Tibetans answered like this. Manjushri is the emanation of Buddha's wisdom. Avalokiteshvara represents Buddha's compassion. And Vajrapani is the symbol of Buddha's power, subduing every spirit. So uh, these three bodhisattva represent Buddha's wisdom, compassion, and power. Kente nusum, no? Kente nusum in Tibetan. The Garba Mandala originated in India consists of three concentric squares. So first square and second, third. Sino Japanese version changes this structure, you know. So east and west, you know, four <coughs> layers and north and south three layers, so it changes. But this originally Garba Mandala has three concentric squares. Among these, the inner square centered on Vairochana remains within the schema of three families. So Vairochana, Avalokiteshvara, Vajrapani triad is here. So the first square centered on the Vairochana triad, like uh, Ratnangiri. Hey. The second square, on the other hand, became a mandala of Shakyamuni, who had yielded the position of main deity to Vairochana. And protective deities arranged here, who had received the teaching from Shakyamuni. The third square, centered on Manjushri, is made up of bodhisattvas worshipped in Mahayana Buddhism. This structure showed that the Garba Mandala evolved from the triad. So uh, the three family originally evolved from the triad, Shakyamuni, Avalokiteshvara, Vajrapani. But in Ratnagiki chapter four, main deity was changed to Vairochana. And in Tibetan, Liksum Gompo, Manjushri, Avalokiteshvara, Bajrapan, this triad. So this, uh, the, uh, this chart shows very clearly the origin of Garba Mandala. And Garba Mandala was developed from triad. However, the structure of the third square of the Garba Mandala, which arranges Sarva Nibara and Vishkambin, Akasha Garba, and Kshit Garba in the south, west, and north, respectively, is difficult to explain on the basis of three families. Next, I wish to consider the arrangement of the Bodhisattvas in the Garba Mandala. As has already been pointed out in previous research, the principal bodhisattvas worshipped in Mahayana Buddhism formed a group called the Eight Great Bodhisattvas. And these eight uh, bodhisattvas played an important role in the mandala. In addition, the mandalas of the Eight Great Bodhisattvas in which the main deity is surrounded by the standard Eight Great Bodhisattvas are found in Elora Cave 12 in West India. So actually, the Elora Cave 12 has uh, five examples of such combination. And there are several different combinations of eight great bodhisattvas. But uh, this uh, combination is very frequently uh, 
depicted in mandala. So Professor Yoritomi named it as standard type of eight great bodhisattvas. There are some other combination existed. But, uh, but uh, from India, all extant example of eight great bodhisattva is the so-called standard type. Other type of eight bodhisattva has not yet been discovered from India. The same arrangement of the standard eight great bodhisattvas around the main deity by Rochana is found in the Sonshō Mandala in Japan. So in Sonshō Mandala, main deity is Garbhadatu by Rochana. And Avalokiteshvara, Maitreya, Akasha Garba, Samantavadara, Vajrapani, Manjushri, Sarvanibara, Nobishkambi, and Krist Garba are arranged. And uh, identification of the eight great bodhisattva in Elola Cave 12 Concerning the identification, there are several differences of opinions, so such as Indian Skara uh, Geri Marandra identified in different, uh, different manner from Japanese scholars, uh, such as uh, Professor Yoritomi and me. Uh, but uh, in Japanese Sonshō Mandala, this arrangement is uh, very more, more used. And there are another example of terracotta mandala uh, preserved in uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art in the United States and uh, uh, Kolkata University Museum, Astos Museum. Uh, there's a terracotta mandala of eight great bodhisattva. Yeah, the arrangement is very similar. And terracotta mandala is so-called you know, mass production. So I think so this uh, Sonshō Mandala was frequently produced, pro probably for the sake of deceased person. In Japan, also, this Mandala is used for the, the deceased person. So it is very effective to, to, to funeral ceremony. So in India also, this type of mandala was produced for the deceased person. So that is the reason that this kind of mandala was frequently produced. Vairochana Abhisambodhi excavated from Chapel 5 at Ratnagiri, Orissa, and now kept in the Archaeological Museum at Ratnagiri is notable for the fact that he is accompanied by eight great bodhisattvas in his halo. So uh, in right hand, four bodhisattvas, and left hand, four bodhisattvas. Uh, so standard type of eight great bodhisattvas are arranged around the main deity. The Ratnagiri statue is currently the only Indian example of Vairochana Abhisambodhi accompanied by the eight great bodhisattvas. However, many examples of this combination of Vairochana Abhisambodhi and eight great bodhisattvas have been identified outside India. One typical example is in British Museum, no? Tungfan painting. Vairochana Abhisambodhi in the center and the right and left, each four bodhisattvas. So this one was created during the occupation of uh, Dunhuang by Tibetans. So Tibetan inscription is uh, written on the canvas. So this is, this is probably created during the Tibetan occupation of Dunhuang. So late eighth to the early ninth century. Maybe. And another example also found in Tibet. Recently, three or four examples during created uh, uh, Tibetan Empire period were identified by Tibetan and Chinese scholars and also uh, article. I wrote one article uh, 
on the combination of uh, biology and Ibisan body and eighth grade sat eighth grade body sat but on the occasion of international conference of Tibetology held at Oxford. And this uh, proceeding, proceedings uh, is uh, very fortunately published uh, in Buril, by Buril in Holland. So you can refer to it. It is worth noting the combination of Bairoch and Abhisam body and the eight great Bodhisattva represents the essence of the principal deity of Garba Mandala. In the Genz Mandala, eight great Bodhisattvas are arranged along the central axis. So, Kshiti Garba, Avalokiteshwara, Bajapani, and Sarva Nivarana, which can be, is the north south axis. On the north, along the north south axis. And Manjushi Akasha Garba arranged on the east west axis. And other four bodhisattvas are arranged in four intermediate directions of central lotus petals. So Samantabhadra, Manjushri, Avalokiteshvara, Maitreya are arranged in intermediate lotus petals, in central eight petals lotus. It turns out that the Garba Mandala was devised as the definitive version of the Mandala composed of the three families evolved from the triad of Buddha, Avalokiteshvara, and Vajrapan. By reorganizing the theories found in earlier scriptures of the early and middle phases of esoteric Buddhism. However, the completion of the mandala with a ge geometric pattern vertically as well as horizontally symmetrical was not realized until the emergence of the Vajradhatu mandala. So next, uh, the next topic is the Vajradhatu mandala. <coughs> Among these, uh, the Vajradhatu mandala the Kue Mandala, sorry, the Kue Mandala, the current version of the Vajradhatu Mandala in Sino Japanese Buddhism, combined the six mandalas described in the Vajradhatu section with the first two mandalas described in the Trilokya Vijaya section and the Rishue, which was adapted from the Pragya Paramita Sutra. So in Kue Mandala, Jojinye, Sammaye, Misaye, Kuyoe, Shinye, Ichinye, these six mandalas are explained in the first part, Vajrada section of uh, Sarva Tathagata Tattva Sangraha. And Gozanze and Gozanze Samaya are explained in the second chapter of Sarva Tathagata Tattva Sangraha. And Rishue is coming from the uh, Pragya Paramita Naya Sutra. Among these, the Vajradat Mahamandala explained in, at the start of the Vajradat section is most important. As in the case of the Genz Mandala, the Kue Mandala devised by Huiko is currently used in Japan. And therefore, Japanese scholars had thought that a similar mandala had existed in India. But the basic Vajradat Mandala is not the Kue Mandala, but the Vajradat Mahamandala corresponding to the Jojinye of the Kue Mandala. So the in Tendai sect, uh, Vajradat 81 DT Mandala, it corresponds to the Vajradat Maha Mandala is used as Vajradat Mandala of two world mandalas. But some, but some exceptional case 
exist in Japan. So in some uh, subsect of Japanese Shingon sect also uses this type of 81 DT mandala. And in Tendai sect, also some tradition uses uh, the Kue mandala as Vajradat mandala. So the situation is very complicated, but uh, in Tendai tradition, this Vajradat Maha mandala was used of Vajradat mandala in two world mandalas. It consists of 37 deities, uh, so-called Kongokai Sanju Shichison in Japan. Five Buddhas, Vairo Chana, Akshobia, Ratna Sambhava, Amitabha, and Amoga Siddhi. And 16 great Bodhisattvas, surrounding four Buddhas, totally 16 Bodhisattvas, great Bodhisattvas. And four Paramita goddesses uh, arranged around Vairo Chana. And the four inner and four outer offering goddesses arranged in intermediate directions, totally eight goddesses, and four gatekeepers. Totally, Vajradat Mandala consists of 37 deities. This is a very basic pattern of the Vajradat Mandala. The five Buddhas of the Mandala came into existence by combining Vairochana, the cosmic Buddha of the Abhatansaka Sutra, and the Buddhas of the four directions in the Svarna Prabhasa Sutra. So Vairochana is uh, firstly appear, uh, appeared for the first time in uh, Abhatansaka Sutra, Hua Yenchin in Chinese as cosmic Buddha. And the Buddhas of four directions, firstly explained in the Svarna Prabhasa Sutra, and esoteric Buddhism combined four Buddhas of Svarna Prabhasa Sutra and uh, cosmic Buddha, Vairochana of Avastansaka Sutra, and formed five Buddhas of mandala. However, the five Buddhas of the Garba mandala and Vajradat mandala evolved through different processes, with those of the Garba mandala inheriting a system into which some Kusmita Rajendra had intruded from the Manjushri Murakalpa. So in Manjushri Murakalpa, some Kusmita uh, Rajendra was you know, explained as the Lord of Manjushri. So the Vairochan Abhisambhu Sutra uh, adopted uh, this one. But if we adopted one, uh, one Buddha from different sutra, we must omit one Buddha from five Buddhas. So there is some difference of opinion. So Vairochana Abhisambhuddhi Sutra chapter two explained this type of five Buddha, and uh, chapter 13 explained this type of five Buddha. That is the reason that we must omit Dundubisvara or Akshobhya. So, but uh, probably there is a difference of opinion in India, which one should be omitted. So there, these two different opinions coexisted in the same sutra. It is very problematic. But uh, uh, Vajradhat Mandala, the five Buddhas, are faithfully succeeded the four Buddha formation of Svarna Prabhasa Sutra. So Akshobhya is in East and Amitabha, our Amitabha is 
in the West. And Ratnaket changes his name into Ratnasambhava, but uh, Ratnaket Ratnasambhava, same Buddha, is arranged in South. So regarding the uh, direction of four Buddha, you know, Sarva Tathagata, Tato Sankraha, is more faithfully than the Bhairochana Abhisam Bodhisattva. The Vajradhatta uh, Mandala is characterized by a five-fold system that classifies all deities into five families presided over by the five Buddhas. These five families, through mutual encompassment, develop into 25 and then into innumer innumerable families. In this way, the Vajradhatta Mandala, through the modification, amalgamation, and expansion of five families, its basic components can be expanded and contradicted, contracted like a kaleidoscope, ranging from the general assembly mandala of the five families to the ekamudra mandala consisting of only a single deity. So this is the Vajradat mandala, consists of 37 deity. This is a very basic pattern. But uh, somebody cannot uh, remember all 37 deities. So that this is contraction version, simplified version of Chatur Mudra Mandala and most simplified version Eka Mudra Mandala. And the general assembly mandala of five families is five times expansion of this mandala. So Vajradhat Mandala has a very flexible system arranging deity of Mahayana Buddhism. So this, and the general assembly mandala of the five families. In Japanese Buddhism, there, there is a tri, no tradition of this mandala, only line drawing showing the arrangement of deities are transmitted. But in Tibet, there existed the example of general assembly mandala of five families in uh, Chambalakan, Romantan, Nepal, and Shalu Monastery in central Tibet. They existed uh, 14th 14 to 15th century, all the examples existed. And when uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama uh, visited Japan, probably a second time, I explained uh, Japanese Vajradhatta Mandala and Garba Mandala to His Holiness Dalai Lama. But His Holiness Dalai Lama thought that Japanese Kue Mandala was this one. You know? So the General Assembly Mandala is very similar to Japanese Kue Mandala. So His Holiness thought General Assembly Mandala was you know, Kue Mandala. Kue Mandala was this one. But this is not correct. But But the Kue Mandala did not exist, does not exist in Tibet. A stone statue kept in the central chapel at Udayagiri Orissa is the largest among the images of Vajradhat by Rochana discovered in India. On both sides of the halo and the throne, the four outer offering goddesses. So Dupa, Pushpa, Deepa, Ganda have been engraved. So the arrangement is, uh, uh, main deity is this one, Vajradhat by Rochana. And these four female deities are these outer offering goddesses. In the so-called Jajipur compound, Orissa, there are preserved some remarkable images that are important for considering the emergence of Vajradhatta Mandala. They are seated images of Akshobhya and Amitabha. This one is Akshobhya. 
They are said to have been enshrined in the four cardinal directions of the stupa in Ratnagiri together with Ratnasambhava and Amogasiddhi. But uh, Ratnasambhava and Amogasiddhi now lost. As in the example of Vajradhat Vairochana from Udayagiri, images of the Vajradhat cycle frequently take the form of pentas, in which the four attendants are arranged on the throne or in the hill. So in this case, Akshobhya and his four attendants are arranged here and here. And in Amitabha image, Amitabha is center, and four attendants, Bodhisattva, arrange it on the hill. These two statues at Jajapur also have four attendants engraved on the upper part of the tail, two on each side. Investigation conducted by Shuchin University in 1992 ascertained that these attendant bodhisattvas engraved on the halos of Akshobhya and Amitabha are eight of the 16 great bodhisattvas of the Vajradhatu Mandala. In Japanese Shingon Buddhism, there existed a legend of an iron stupa in South India where 18 tantras of Vajrasekara cycle, starting with the Sarva Tathagata Tattva Sangraha, were discovered by Nanga Arjuna. The Vajrasekara cycle discovered that this iron stupa was a series of esoteric Buddhist scriptures characterized by an unprecedented five-fold system. A Japanese Shingon scholar, Shoun Togano, identified it with the great stupa of Amaravati. So this is the painting of iron stupa in South India, uh, now preserved in the Fujita Museum, Osaka. Well, there, there is a model of iron stupa in South India. But the Jap Japanese uh, pa painter in medieval Japan has not seen the India, Indian stupa, so the images, the dome with a Chinese style roof as the iron stupa in South India. And in the gate, you know, Nangarjuna opened the door and entered in it. And 18 great tantras of Vajrasekha cycle is preserved in this stupa. But the uh, protective deities would not allow him to take it away out. So Nangarjuna decided and remembers all standards of Pajasheka cycle and uh, brought to the world. Uh, he, he's to, uh, shown to one of the uh, present professors of Koyasan University is a grand disciple of Togano Shon. So he's uh, some, something, he introduced the scientific research on esoteric Buddhism, and he also started the study of Tibetan Tripitaka compared to so, uh, esoteric Buddhist text uh, preserved in uh, Tibetan Tripitaka for the first time. So he's a great scholar, and he, he identified this uh, iron stupa in South India to Amaravati stupa. Moreover, we can confirm the relationship between Amaravati stupa and Vajradhat Mandala from the Indi Tibetan source. In the Seko Deshatika, belonging to the Karachakra cycle, there is a passage which refers to this stupa uh, called Danya Kataka as Vajradhat Mahamandala. So, so some uh, Roman character with uh, diacritical marks uh, becomes bigger than other characters, but uh, Amaravati and Vajadat Mandala. Shri Daniye Niyata Mantra Naya Desha Nasta Ne Mahaska Vase Vajradat Mahamandale Vajra Shinhasane Stitaha. This one is the first edition by Mario E. Kaleri, page three. So this one was explained where the uh, root text of Karachakra cycle, Sri Paramadi Buddha, was uh, explained <coughs> by Buddha. This uh, root text was explained by Buddha himself 
at Sri Danya Kataka, the present uh, Amaravati stupa. So His Holiness Dalai Lama conferred the Kala Chakra initiation at this site. You know? <laughs> so this, this site was, was thought to be the origin of Kala Chakra cycle. And in this uh, stanza, Sekou Desete explained Shuri Danya, Shuri Danya. So Danya Kataka Stupa is equal to Vajradhatu Mahamandala. So this is clearly stated. Uh, Amaravati Stupa is Vajradhatu Mahamandala. So in, in the Tibetan sources, there is clear textual evidence which identifies Vajradhatu Mahamandala and uh, Amaravati Stupa. The great stupa of Amaravati that Togano identified as iron stupa in South India can be dated back to the time of King Ashoka and reached its current site during the second to third centuries when Naga Rujuna was active in South India. Therefore, it is inconceivable that this stupa had a mandala-like structure from the very outset. So the Amaravati stupa is Vajradhat Mandala, is so-called anachronism. Anachronism. But let us consider the relationship between stupa and mandala. As Sanchi, four images of the Buddha were installed against the walls of the great stupa facing its four entrances in the first half of the fifth century. So when uh, Sanchi Stupa was uh, first uh, constructed for the first time, the, no tradition of uh, Buddha statues. So Buddha was represented as symbols. But uh, in the fifth century, four Buddha statues are enshrined in this Stupa. I surmise that these four Buddhas are the earliest extant example of the Buddhas of the four directions in India. The four images of the Buddha at Sanchi do not have any iconographic characteristics like the four Buddhas in later mandalas, since all of them form the Dhyana Mudra with both hands. So the, they don't have any iconographic characteristics, so we cannot identify which one was is such and such Buddha. It is impossible, but probably it may be created as a Buddha of four directions. However, in later stupas, four Buddhas arranged in four cardinal directions became the four Buddhas in Mandala particularly those of the Vajradhat Mandala. Therefore, the stupa enshrining four Buddhas in four cardinal directions is identified with Vairochana, the main deity of the Mandala. <coughs> if the four Buddhas, like Jajipur images, are accompanied by four attendant Bodhisattvas, the, the stupa is identified with Vajradhat Vairochana. And in the historical record of China, the great stupa of Amaravati was mentioned as the stupa of Vairochana. So this is uh, the uh, stupa from Rajasthan now, pre uh, preserved in the National Museum, New Delhi. Uh, this one arranged four Buddhas of uh, Vajradhat on the base of stupa. And such a stupa is very frequent in Katmand Valley. <laughs> in Katmand Valley, all Buddhists you know, donate uh, Chaitya with the four Buddhas of Vajradhat Mandala for the commemoration of this is past. So the number of uh, this uh, type of Chaitya is uh, probably bigger than the Buddhist population in Katmandu Valley. 
So this type of stupa is very, very popular in Nepal. And in Japan also, the Japanese uh, uh, Buddhist stupa arranges for Buddha the, around the main pillar for Buddha. This uh, custom also transmitted in Japan and uh, several extant examples also remaining in Japan. And the great stupa of Amaravati has rectangular pedestals in the four cardinal directions, and five pillars called ayako were erected on each pedestal. There are various views on the meaning of these pillars, but if we regard the central pillars with a crest ornament, yeah, this one, <laughs> as the four Buddhas and the four pillars on either side of the central pillar as four attendant bodhisattvas, we can interpret the structure of the great stupa as a likeness of the Vajradhat Mandala. So in this stupa, you know, Buddha's four direction is not enshrined, even in later time. But uh, in this stupa has uh, five pillars in four cardinal directions. So if we regard the central pillars as four Buddhas of Vajradhat Mandala and four side pillars as four attendant Bodhisattvas, we can interpret the structure of Amaravati Stupa as Vajradhat Mandala. If one of the later Nangarujanas saw so Nangarujana is uh, the, was active in two, two to second to third century AD. But after this uh, original Nangarjuna, there existed several Nangarjuna in later times. And if one of the later Nangarujanas got the idea of a five-fold system of the Vajradhat Mandala from the unique structure of the great stupa of Amaravati with five ayaka pillars in the four cardinal directions, we can, I believe, rationally interpret the legend of the iron stupa in South India. Enormous stupa with five ayaka pillars also existed at Nangarujana Konda and Jagaya Peta in Andhra Pradesh. And so the model for the iron stupa in South India is not necessarily limited to the stupa of Amaravati. However, the great stupa of Amaravati is the most suitable model for the iron stupa in South India, since it survived until the 80 of esoteric Buddhism. So um, um, Amaravati, is, great stupa of Amaravati survived until the 15 to 16 centuries, when Indian Buddhism mostly disappeared. This uh, great stupa was uh, preserved by Theravada Buddhists from Sri Lanka and survived even in the 16th century. So this stupa existed the time of uh, esoteric Buddhism. The Garba Mandala described, so the, this is a conclusion. The Garba Mandala described in the Bhairochana Abhisam Bodhisattva represents the culmination of Mandala of the three family system that had developed from the early uh, triad. The Vajradhat Mandala, on the other hand, classifies all the deities into five families and arranges the deity of these the five families in the center and the four cardinal directions. Thus, there was created a mandala completely symmetrical, both horizontally and vertically. It is a revolutionary starting point of mandalas with a geometric pattern of late tantric Buddhism. In this respect, the two world mandalas transmitted in Japan are very significant, not only for the study of Japanese Buddhist iconography, but also in the history of Indian aesthetic Buddhism. 
Uh, thank you very much, Yuai. <laughs>